Well, it's called Smoky Mountain because before it was smoking. L literally. The first uh, challenge is to keep going in this area that are kind of difficult on a daily basis because of what you see, because of the situation of the people. It's Islam area, we're illegally, as we can say, we're illegally. They don't have any choice uh, to stay in Manila. Since they come here for a livelihood, uh, it's very hard for them to live even if they live in this condition. My father is a driver and sometimes they are selling junk goods. Going in this area and discovering the use of kerosene line and candle, we discovered so how huge was illegal electricity in Metro Manila. It's what we call here the jumper because they just jump to get the legal electricity. That's the reason why uh, you will see so many cables. We started our project to find a way to reach the most vulnerable in those areas and to find a way to give them a safe access to light. Bring a solar kit for the family interested. The solar kit has a small battery, very small solar panel like that, three light. Then they start to uh, give us a small payment per day, which is 20 pesos, around 40 cents. And after one year, one year and a half, they will become the owner of the kit. Even though it's huge for us because it means a, a daily presence of our team in this area, but even if it's uh, huge, that's the way you're gonna, you're gonna reach them. Uh, so it's been two years uh, that we are working this way. We are nine in the team. I'm, we are two foreigners, so I'm from France. And the rest of the team, so seven, they are all local and all Filipino. They live in the same um, same kind of condition of our customers. We are now serving more than 350 families on a daily basis. Uh, we get almost 20 families who, who became already the owner of their solar kit, who are asking us what's the next step, what do you bring to us, because they actually uh, really like our presence in the field, uh, the fact that we are really taking care and listening to their issues. <laughs> 